good. How'd it feel to be out there week one? Uh, it felt good to be back, grinding all summer, spring, fall camp. I mean, do I hold it? No. Oh. I got it. You just talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was great. I mean, we looked like we gelled as a team, very, gained great chemistry over the fall camp for sure. I, and so you mentioned chemistry, and, and there's expected to be some bumps in the road for you guys in the secondary, replacing some guys to the NFL last season. Week one, did that feel in, in the right spot? I mean, I felt like we felt good. Like, we learned behind them guys. So, like, when it was our time to play, I feel like we was, we stepped up to the task. Like, they held the standard, and we just trying to hold it even higher. So, I feel like we were we were good for week one. How did it feel to go against that receiving point that had some success the week prior against this You got to do the one. What did it feel like? Uh, it was good. I mean, everybody's got talent in this league, as you can see. So, I feel like that was a great test for our core. I feel like we stepped up to the task, and we – I can say dominated right here. Is there any uh, particular moment in the last week's game that really stood out to you? Something in your play or something that you saw from a teammate that got you hyped to pump for what this defense is capable of this year? Uh, Jaden Robinson, his three PBUs, Tyrese Ivey. They called a couple flags, but we could argue they're letting flags. But Tyrese Ivey's play and then Achilles play. Like, Achilles saved a couple of touchdowns. Like, I feel like our whole defense stepped up and we did with Coach Gray Axis. I think one thing, too, that's important that I saw last week is your guys' tackling. You did a good job of trying to really wrap up, especially receivers and running back when you got an opportunity to tackle. How important is that for you guys to make sure that, again, you don't allow those players to, to break those initial tackles and get into the second level to, to make the defense kind of panel? Yeah, uh, so we, we work tackling every day, and then that's Coach uh, Blue's big thing in the room, being physical. So I feel like that's something that we just gained as a room. And then the guys last year tackled well, too. So. Like, learning from them, we just took it to the grass. How cool is it to see a guy like Jaden, who's been here for a while and grinded and finally out there for, for a week one start? I know we got the start in the bowl game, but now he's here, like, week one starter of a much-anticipated season, and he balled out yesterday. So how, how is that from your perspective to see that? Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. I feel like he could have started on our court last year. Like, we were just that good as a room. Uh, he's been here a while. He's learned. And I feel like the bowl game just showed how good he is, and that was his first time touching the grass for real after the Oregon game. So I feel like his ceiling's really high. He, he could be the best defensive back in the back. Last year, this conference, as we know it, 13 and I like them so far in non conference yeah. What are your thoughts about the conference this year? Uh, the conference as well. I mean, it's a chance for us to show our talent. I mean, people I think are going to doubt us. But I mean, we can play with anybody, especially when we're on our P's and Q's. So I feel like this conference is a good conference for us to show our talent. You talked about just training underneath uh, kind of some of those guys last year that are now moving on to the next level. Um, looking back at last season and how much you guys needed to rely on that next man up mentality uh, heading into this weekend, how important do you think it is going to be for the starters to do really well so some of those other guys that are later in the depth chart to get some reps, to get some experience under their belt in case you might need to go back to them later in the season? Yeah, um, I feel like it's great. That's why I feel like nobody's taking a break and like, nobody's taking them lightly like our plan is to come out and dominate for we can get some young guys in the game so we can work on our depth our depth is good but like obviously like playing in the game is a little bit different so yeah our, our goal is to come out and dominate before we can get them guys some reps i believe you guys got to pull out the chainsaw one time last weekend how many times do you have to pull it out this weekend at home for the first time at Leicester stadium uh our goal is to get picks every chance we can like, I dropped one San Jose. There was a couple of missed opportunities. But, yeah, we're going to get it out at least three or four times. What are you most looking forward to about this weekend? Obviously, research Stadium, you guys have played into this is the first time at the New West side. I mean, what are you looking forward to most getting back in Reeser and having this, this stadium full of Beaver fans cheering you guys on for your first game in the home season? Uh, the stadium, for sure. The noise, the third down. Like, it's a lot I'm looking forward to. But give the fans what they want to see. They want to see us dominate, so I feel like. How much do you know about like just how different it's going to be with that West Side? Have you guys gotten a tour? Have you guys gotten a, a chance to see? I've heard some of the light show yeah. stuff is going to be really cool. How much do you guys know, and how much are you guys going to be just as surprised as we are on well, I Saturday? Mean, they say it's sold out, so I think it's going to be a pretty surprised. Like last year, I only played with one half, so. But on my visits here previous years, like the other half was rocking without the new stadium, so. I'm excited to see you.